Okay, since no one is speaking on this, and this is information that the media has not given coverage to, they're not going to give coverage to information like this, but I'm going to give information to it because of all the protests that's going on now around this country regarding um, Kyle Rittenhouse. You call him a white supremacist. Uh, you're saying that this is um, white supremacy, that he was found not guilty uh, for self-defense. You know, this was clear self-defense. But you feel he shouldn't have gotten self-defense. And especially for you that's talking about he shouldn't have been there and he crossed a uh, city line or state line uh, to go to this protest and he shouldn't have had a firearm because he was underage. I don't know if any of you guys remember this story that happened back in 2017 where this black dude house was raided, rightly raided. This dude shot at cops. He not only shot at cops, but he's a convicted felon. Was not supposed to have any firearms at all. During this raid, not only did he shoot at cops, but his girlfriend was killed in this raid and they found guns and drugs. He was a drug dealer. He was killing his own community and he got off on a stand your ground. As you see in this article, Florida man who claimed self-defense and was acquitted of all murder charges draws comparison to Kyle Rittenhouse. And you see where I wrote now, this is on Instagram. This is my Instagram account. And I said, so tell me, where are the violent protests and anger? This dude was a felon and shot cops during an early morning raid which got his girlfriend killed. They found drugs and illegal firearms. See, not only he was a felon, was not supposed to have any guns, but he had illegal firearms. They found drugs and illegal firearms. Did I mention he was a felon and was not supposed to be in possession of any firearms, but where's Crump? See, where's the memes that's comparing him now? See, and see, this is what I've been trying to tell you guys, man. The media is trying to create divide and conquer. They want you to be angry. They want you to be divided. And in dividing you, they're able to conquer you. Because united we stand, divided we fall. So since nobody wants to talk about this, I don't see any videos. I don't see any news articles except for what's on Blaze. I don't see anything like that. And then I had to click on Blaze because it had a link to where the article is. And I went to that article, which you can go there and find out for yourself. You can read it on your own. But where's the mainstream media? See, they're not hyping this up. This is not um, a high profile case that the media will be interested in because a black man, a drug dealer that had his house raided, that his girlfriend was killed in the middle of the raid, he was looking at life in prison and he was acquitted. It's a black man, a drug dealer, a convicted felon that killed or shot at cops, attempted murder, of a cop and I keep mentioning that and then they found illegal firearms and drugs and he was acquitted so where's the outrage because of this so feedback tell me what you think until next time I'm fearless